your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me. Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Today is Wednesday for me. And in today's video, I'm just gonna tackle a few things that I have kind of been putting off in the back of my mind, just needing to get done. I thought I'd put them all together, do it. This is like the only day this week that I'm available to do this. I have to babysit my granddaughter and I have to take my mom out to run errands. And so today is Wednesday and this is my day to get all those things done. So I kind of saved them all up for today. Some of them are fun, some of them are not so fun. So I'll be sharing all of that in today's video. So one of the fun things I'm gonna be doing is making some cookies and this has been sitting out for probably I don't know five hours <laughs> to try and bring to room temperature i'm going to be making sugar cookies for paisley's first birthday so i bought this cookie cutter set at hobby lobby it was on sale for a dollar fifty normally 250 so that was a really good deal since i couldn't find any anywhere else in town and on amazon they were 7.99 for a one cookie cutter so they don't have every number but they do have one so i was really happy although i wish it was about that big so this one's too small and this one's too big but we're going to make it work i've also got some hearts she's kind of having like a heart theme valentine theme first birthday so i'm going to open this up and see i'll either do the middle one with a smaller heart or we'll do the big one and the big hearts but we're going to make some i'm going to make two batches of cookie dough and roll them out make the cookies and then in a couple days madison's going to come over and help me decorate them so i'll also share that with y'all but Today I do need to go ahead and get the cookie dough done because it is like a long process and I don't want to save everything for one day. I'm also going to be taking some of my vents up. You can see that they're white. That one is white, but that one is black. And the one in my bathroom is also black. For some reason, I only did those two, spray painted those two black, but I really like the way it looks. So I have four vents that I'm going to pull up, clean them out, clean off the vents, let them dry, and then I'm going to spray paint them black. Hopefully that will look a lot nicer because you can see that they're all the paint is all chipped and they're just dirty. You know, these floor vents get so dirty because everything falls into them. Kids drop stuff into them with pets. You know, it's just gross, 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 gross. And this right here, I have to clean this out often. This thing is so messed up. It's like lost so many pieces. We've looked online and it will be for this size, it's like several hundred dollars to get a new one. So we're just keeping this one until we absolutely can't anymore, but I do need to clean it out. This is our main vent. So we can't keep it covered, but as you can imagine with four pets and all the people and all the things, everything like passing right through here, it gets filthy so fast. So I just take it off and sweep it out. I don't vacuum it out because it doesn't really do any better than just sweeping it. So you'll be shocked at how much I'm going to get out of that. But I'm going to pull the vent covers up and paint those today. And I also have some part of my old island that Marion took off. The only part that we didn't reuse, which was the middle braces. Um, from the when it was smaller there was some blocks of wood so I had Marion cut those to smaller pieces and I kind of like sanded the edge that was jagged and I'm going to paint them and make some little wooden block decor I've been needing and wanting to do that for so long I'm just going to use my Cricut paint the blocks and then use my Cricut and put either a saying on them or you know hearts or something for Valentine's I'm not sure if I'm just going to do Valentine but I do need to sit down with my Cricut software and just go over that really quick. But I'm gonna go ahead and probably get these vents up and get them washed so that they can be drying out in the sun and then I can paint them. I'm gonna have to turn my thermostat off because I'm gonna have to like shove, maybe like, I don't know, I'll have to put something, either shove bags in there or put something over them because Clyde will most definitely try to crawl down in those vents and he'll be he'll be long gone <laughs> so i'm gonna have to turn everything off and cover them up i'm just gonna fill the sink up with hot water and soap and i'm gonna stick the vent covers in here and let them soak for a little while
All right, I'll let them dry completely. They won't take that long to dry, and then I'll flip them over, make sure both sides are dry, and then I'll spray paint them black. Um, some of them are way worse than others. We've lived here for 20 years, and obviously I've like cleaned these, but one time I did paint them all. I guess I painted them. I think I just painted them this color, this like off-white color, but I think that was about in 2012, long, long time ago, so obviously they need to have a fresh coat of paint so the black will just help things not to show up so much. The real fun comes in cleaning these vents out. So I cleaned out all the vents. I got the vent covers washed. They're still drying. I wanna make sure they're really dry before I spray paint them. So I'm going to get Jackson from school and then I'm gonna run by Hobby Lobby real quick because there's a couple little things I wanna check and see if they have for when um, I'm making the cookies and the cupcakes. And I, long story, I just wanna check and see if they have a couple things. So I'm gonna grab those after I get him. Then when I get back, hopefully I'll be able to spray paint the great covers and then I need to get working on the wooden blocks because I want to go ahead and get those painted and then uh, later on this evening when they're dry I can put like the little stickers on them so all right I'm back and I went Hobby Lobby looking for these heart molds that I saw the other day then unfortunately they were all gone but this one was in the Valentine's so it was 40% off so I paid like a dollar 79 and it's they're really like big but I wanted the the ones they had were real thin so I'm just gonna use these and just put a little bit in there so that they'll be thin and I have red and pink candy melts so I have an idea of how I'm gonna do use these and then I got the cookie bags because I want to individually wrap the cookies in case people want to take a cookie with them when they leave so I was trying to see if they were the right size for that big giant one and then 
see if that would fit inside too. I think so. They're, they're really fat, really thick. You roll the cookies out really thick. I made these at Christmas time and they were so good and perfect for this kind of cookie, for a sugar cookie with icing. They're very sturdy so they hold the icing up. So anyway, I'm going to work on these in a little while because this cookie dough has to actually sit in the refrigerator for at least two hours after you mix it. So I need to get that done. But right now I think I'm going to go outside and spray paint the grates because unfortunately it looks like it could rain. I'm hoping it doesn't, but the sky is really threatening right now. I'm just using this color shot. It's just what we had in the basement. I think it was Madison's, but it's black matte paint and primer. It says it works on metal. Holy moly, this stuff's amazing. <laughs> Alright, I've used a lot of spray paint in my life, but my gosh, best spray paint I have ever used, ever. That was amazing. I have no idea how much this costs. I think she got it on Amazon. If I can find it, I'll link it. But that was the best coverage, the fastest, oh my gosh, best spray paint ever. I didn't use my little spray paint gun. I knew better. I knew better can't see but I've got black underneath my nails it was all over my hands thankfully most of it came off but black under my fingernails <laughs> just spray it between when it's between 50 and 90 degrees and it's exactly 50 degrees so hopefully it doesn't take forever to dry oh okay recoat within one hour or after 24 hours dries to the touch in 10 minutes fully cured in 24 hours so I, I think I need to probably flip them over and open them up and make sure that the edges of the, you know, when they're open, when the vents are open, make sure that they're completely covered. And if they are, then I won't have to do that, but definitely one coat coverage. I don't need to do a second coat. That stuff's amazing. But I'm gonna sit down and do design with my Cricut software, design my little, you know what? I need to paint those blocks. I need to paint them, but I gotta figure out what color I'm gonna paint them. So I know like a lot of people don't have crickets and you might not understand what a cricket is, but it's just a cutting machine. So you can actually buy the cricket paper or it's not paper though. It's like a vinyl and it, it's sticky on one side. So you can buy that at Hobby Lobby or Walmart, or wherever they even have it at Dollar Tree. And you can just trace a design on it, like with a stencil or freehand it. And then you just would use it the same way it's just that I have a Cricut which actually cuts it for me but everything else you would do the same you just cut it out of the actual sticky paper and then you would transfer it onto your design and it's super easy I just use my Cricut for actually doing the cutting All right, I just um, designed these. I'm gonna print them off. Oh my goodness, as soon as I was coming in, it started to sprinkle. <laughs> so, um, these look so good. Of course, they smell like spray paint, so my house is probably gonna smell like it once the heat turns on, but only for a day or two, hopefully. But they actually, I don't have to do, I'm not gonna do the edges because when you open them, you don't see it, and it's, you know, looks so much better. These look amazing. So I'm gonna stick these back in so I can turn my heat back on.
Okay, they look amazing and they won't show every little, you know, little tiny bit of dirt, but the black looks so good on them. Also, they're nice and clean. I can turn my heat back on. It's only 68, but it's gonna get cold soon. Also, I wish I had taken that out and also spray painted it, because see how it needs a fresh coat. I can do that another time. It's just that when we have that off of there, it's like super dangerous because you pe we've fallen before, so I'd have to do it when like the baby gate was up and animals were out of the way. Um, but that spray paint wouldn't take very long to dry, so maybe I'll do that another day. But I absolutely love the black. If you have floor grates, take some spray paint, makes them look brand new. So before I paint the wooden blocks, I was gonna go do that now, but I'm gonna use craft paint and it dries super fast, so. Um, like in the time that I paint them and then I print off the stickers, it'll almost be dry. Like it's super fast. So before I have to take Jackson to youth group in about 30 minutes ish. So I would like to get this dough made so I can get it in the refrigerator that way because it has to stay in there for two hours. So that way I can make these, you know, like before midnight. <laughs> it's a... Uh, it's a it's not complicated it's just that I need to get it in the refrigerator so I have I will link it down below the recipe that I'm using I did use this at Christmas time if you saw our baking day it's amazing um, you do want to make it pretty thick I think it says like three eighths of an inch um, and I found when I made them before that definitely the thicker the better also there's all if you do make them there's all kinds of complicated things she says leave them on the pan for five minutes then transfer them to a covered airtight container and I didn't do any I mean I started doing that and then I was like I don't need to do any of this so I just let them sit put them on a cooling rack and they're great both batches made and they're gonna sit in here for two hours and get hardened so I'm gonna make dinner now I'm gonna make spaghetti I've got the water uh, and the meat over here on the stove I'm also gonna make this I don't know how you say it, Elio's breadsticks I like to put butter and extra butter and garlic and extra cheese on it and they're so good and then just spaghetti my favorite pasta sauce and I forgot that Walmart was out of tomatoes so I wanted a salad I guess I'm just gonna have to have a salad without tomatoes. So while my cheesy bread is finishing up, I'm gonna go ahead and paint these. These are the two pieces of wood. One's a little bit longer, that one's gonna be red. So I just have this, it's just regular acrylic, true red. And then I have a couple different pinks I have to decide. I think, I think maybe the light one, because it'll have red. Dinner was delicious. I definitely missed the tomatoes in my salad, but it was still delicious. And I've got now an entire sink full of dishes for making the cookies and dinner. So I'm gonna put these in the dishwasher and then it'll almost be time to pull out the cookie dough and make another mess. But as long as I have this picked up, I feel like it'll be <laughs> it'll be okay. It won't be too overwhelming. Wanna be free of this heart. Yeah. Wanna feel your arms around me. 
you more Need you here More than I would like to admit Let's forget about tomorrow Yeah Should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never again Hold you tight, call you mine Think about you every time I remember that it's over Yeah You never break, you never lie You never ever scared of the dark So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop Yeah, yeah You never lose an argument So I've been trying hard to pretend That I'm okay It's just a phase And everything is going just great I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop Yeah, yeah I always knew that this would happen Yeah You would find a new distraction Okay, so I decided to use the big one and the smaller heart because the bigger one will not fit in those little plastic bags I bought. I'm not even sure if these are going to fit, actually. I thought they were a little bit bigger than they are. Um, just because they're so fat, the cookies. So, I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to go ahead and roll this out. You have to cut it in half and work with half at a time because you want to keep it really cold. And I remember when I did this at Christmas, like, my abs were sore for days because I'm having to, like, and my arms and everything because I'm having to use all my muscles because it is so hard can we let go of tomorrow yeah you never break you never lie you never ever scared of the dark so why am i the one who cries i'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot it's almost like i can't stop can't stop yeah yeah you never lose an argument so i've been trying hard to pretend that i'm okay it's just a phase and everything is going just great i think about you a lot it's almost like i can't stop can't stop yeah yeah the little one the big one was just so huge and the cookies I just don't know if anybody wants a cookie that size I think that's that one's gonna go in the trash but the little ones I think are much more manageable you can compare it to my hand but these big ones are like so massive so you see the difference so I still have like nine of those I think I do have a couple casualties right here I'm saving them for Jackson or Madison when she comes to help me also they were kind of like I was afraid they were too fragile. Anyway, we have a ton. I made this one, I'm not sure if it's gonna make it. We'll have to see once it's totally cool. But I have a bunch of hearts, little ones and big ones. And I'm gonna really quickly clean up the kitchen. I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna be able to finish the little blocks tonight, but I'll put it in this video still. I'll probably have to do them tomorrow because for some reason, like I was just telling you, that craft paint dries so quick, but it's just not drying. It's not totally drying. I'll show you the red one has definitely is not dry so you can see that it's still wet so um and that one might be too i don't know i don't know but i think i'm just going to print the the little stickers off and do those in the morning but i will add them at the end of this video so you can see what they look like Yeah. 
and say goodbye. Thank you for hanging out with me for this day in the life. Hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I did sit down and read some comments. I had a video go live today, so I just enjoy reading the comments. Y'all are the sweetest. I really feel like you're my friends, and I hope that you feel the same way. I hope that my my videos, I know a lot of you say that you're um, actually read a few tonight that said you were either sick or recovering from something, and my videos kept you company, and that makes me so happy it makes me so happy <laughs> like that's why i keep putting out videos just so many people out there just feel lonely or unmotivated and need a friend and just know that i do truly care about you i do pray for you i do consider you my friends and um i love this this community and reaching out to people that are all over the world that i would otherwise never meet but we can meet through youtube and um, you can actually comment back and I can get to know you as well. So it's, it's a blessing to you and it's a blessing to me so much. So I just want to say I appreciate you so much again. I, I'll never stop telling you how much I appreciate you and love you because I truly, truly do. And I hope that you find, you know, something in my channel that you can relate to or you just feel like you're hanging out with a friend because that's what we are. We're friends. And um, hopefully I can give you some kind of encouragement or motivation and always, always, always hopefully point you back to Jesus because that is the whole point. If I don't do that, then I've done nothing, nothing worthwhile. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Let's be honest for a second, yeah, you'll be in over your head, babe. Cause there is no one other than me that can make you feel the way you feel when I hold you. I think I said enough.